is up guys, you're watching Tony's Fitness here with another YouTube video but as usual before I get into the video please like and subscribe and check my Instagram account out uh, if you want to see physique updates every single day and if you want to see how lean I am Woo! And yeah, I mean let's get into the video So in this YouTube video we're going to be about how much cardio should you be doing in a day and how much I recommend and how much is going to get you lean I've been working out big one but you would get leaner in a skinny way but if you're in like 100 to 200 calorie deficit you'll get leaner but the best thing i do when i want to get just a bit leaner just slowly 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 is i just do a little tiny bit more cardio like um when i go swimming i'll do like five more lems when i go for a walk i'll i'll walk another half mile you know i'll ride an extra 15 20 minutes on my bike um yeah so I'm going to be telling you how much cardio I think that you should be doing. So, the average, the average person walks about 10,000 steps. So, I mean, that's about three hours of walking in total. But something a lot of people don't know is your non-exercised activity adds up, all right? So, me going downstairs to prep some meals, I, probably, I burnt some calories doing that and I got some steps. It's all going to add up through the day. Um... But actual hit cardio wise, for actually walking or biking or swimming or whatever cardio you really do, um, I would say, let's go with like the basic standard, let's go for walking, I'd say about 15 minutes to half an hour of walking a day, it's not much but it adds up, half an hour of walking can be like 100 to like 200 calories for some people. I just got done walking my dog for about 40 minutes. I probably burnt about 200, 300 calories. Um, yeah, so I'd say about 15, maybe half an hour. I do recommend that you do cardio because it feeds your heart. I mean, number one thing, how thin is like, not your bite, you know, you want to make your biceps look bigger. You want to you wanna make your abs look more defined. You, wanna, you, you know, you want to look better in general. But like you, your heart needs training here and there. So yeah, about 15 minutes to about half an hour a day. That's what I'd recommend for you. Obviously, it depends. If you're obese and you're watching this, I wouldn't even recommend you walk, depending on how obese you are. If you're like 100 pounds to 200 pounds overweight, I'd say the best cardio for you would be swimming because it's one of them things where swimming, I really do love swimming. Like, I, I love it. I really go try hard mode when I swim. Um, I do it all the time, every single Saturday with my dad, my sister. Um, but the thing is, with obese people, that they'll try and lose weight dead fast, and they'll be doing skipping and stuff, and they don't really realise how bad it is on the backs. Like you can really injure yourself. I remember when I was fat and I used to go on the trampoline. Well, at my peak though, like I was really, really fat. Um, when I used to go on the trampoline, it used to absolutely kill my back. I remember one morning I woke up and I was like, ah, oh, man, my back. Um, so, yeah, if you're obese, you want to be doing stuff like swimming because it's one of them like things where you're burning a lot of calories, but you're not putting a lot of pressure on yourself. So, you know, you're not going to get injured, are you? Um, so, yeah, anyway, the actual video is I'd probably say 15 minutes to half an hour cardio a day. And yeah, hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.